our investigation last night into a teacher's disgraceful behaviour towards five-year-old Portia had us all steaming. Tonight, more damning allegations against the teachers and even the school. Dimity Clancy has just filed this report. Are you worried? Yes, very. Shay and Tricia Ellis have good reason to be worried. This is the first time they're hearing the verbal abuse their daughter Riley faced at the hands of her year one teacher and teacher's aide. How would your daughter be feeling in that moment? Oh, she's probably scared. She doesn't feel loved. It's when their daughter is ridiculed, Shay breaks down. I'm just so angry at the moment. I can't believe it. Kids will say things as kids do, but to have our own teachers laughing at her like that, oh, I, yeah, I haven't got the words at the moment. Can Riley eat by herself? Can she feed herself? No, she can't feed herself. No. She does not feed herself with a fork or a spoon or nothing. So could like she that. feed herself her lunch? No. 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 no, no, no. We feed her breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here you go. Riley is five years old. She has cerebral palsy, autism okay. and is developmentally delayed. She too was at school when verbal abuse was hurled at her classmate, Portia Concepcion. The young girls are both inside their classroom at Noree, the high needs unit attached to Riverston Public School. The faces behind the abuse are their teacher, Mrs. Bromwyn Massey, and their teacher's aide, Claire Andrews. I don't know how to politely say, I don't give a about your child on the toilet when seizures come about. You weird child? Oh, for Christ's sake, Portia! It's no respect, is it? No, no. Well, you think you're your child's getting all the respect and the love from teachers at school, but obviously she wasn't. Like Portia's parents, Shay and Tricia say they had a bad feeling something wasn't right. Because I've been noticing her change of behaviour, how upset she's been, the regression she's had from where she was before school, just in this last month, and I just felt stupid. I was trying to put it off as every other thing under the sun except for the school. That was the last, the last thing I wanted to think about was something was going on at school. They couldn't be more thankful for the truth uncovered by this little black disc. And you just put it... A recording device Portia's mum hid inside her daughter's school uniform. Yes, and it's just in the pocket. I felt sick, sick to my stomach seeing what Portia, or they put on what Portia had gone through and I knew I knew in my gut that Riley was in the class at the same time. Because there's no way that it just happened on that one day. Because I know Riley's behaviour from day one since she started school has just regressed. To make matters worse, the school was handed the recording a week ago when they immediately stood the two staff members down. Since then, Shay and Tricia say when they brought Riley here to school, they even questioned why both of her teachers were away but were given no explanation. It wasn't until a few hours before our program went to air last night that the principal phoned Riley's parents to tell them her teachers had been suspended pending an investigation. What did you say back to that? What I really said? Mm -hmm. I knew something was wrong <laughs> because Riley hasn't been happy going to school. How did you feel? I don't know, I was sort of in disbelief. I rang Shay straight away and said, you know, um, all these sort of feelings I've been having. I said, uh, the teachers have been stood down. What about you, Shay? When you, um, when you realised last night how late that phone call came to you, what did you, what do you think? It just sort of felt like a punch in the gut. I was thinking, what the hell? I can't believe they haven't brought us in to have a meeting and tell us anything. I thought, this happened a week ago. They stood the teachers down on the Thursday. Why weren't we told? On Friday, why did you wait till a couple of hours before current affair was going to air and then ring us and say, oh, yeah, by the way, um, something happened at school. Uh, we thought we'd just let you know. 
Oh, we can't say too much. Well, it's not right. Do you feel let down? Yeah, terribly let down. Terribly let down. I'd never thought in a million years I would come on, you know, and talk to you on TV, but that's how disappointed we are. Minister, thank you for your time. Also disappointed, New South Wales Education Minister Rob Stokes. Where, I don't even know where to start with this. Well, n nor do I, frankly, Dimity. What occurred, uh, what I heard on that tape uh, was gut-wrenching. It was sickening. Uh, that sort of behaviour shouldn't be tolerated anywhere in our society, least alone in our public schools and least alone um, with our most vulnerable students. How does a teacher get away with something like this? Uh, well, Dimity, they can't and they shouldn't and they mustn't and that's why immediate action was taken to ensure that those teachers were removed uh, and I will do everything I can to ensure that they never work in a New South Wales public school ever again. So do you declare these two teachers sacked? These that, families? That, that, as far as I'm concerned, Dimity, these teachers will never work in the teaching service in New South Wales ever again. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, what I heard on that tape disqualifies them from ever being a teacher again. And certainly what I heard was of a seriousness that I think that this tape uh, should be referred to the New South Wales Police. Yeah, you think they should be criminally charged? I, I think that should be looked at. Uh, certainly the nature of, uh, of what was discussed and, uh, and some of the words that were used, I was appalled and I, I want the police to have a look at it. Will any action be taken on the school in relation to keeping this from the family for an entire week? The department initially felt that this could be dealt with at a local level. Um, that's simply scandalous. We need to find out what the implications of this are for the system more broadly. Do you think that the school tried to cover this up by any means? This is exactly why a full inquiry is warranted, to find out exactly the answer to those questions. And no excuses can be made for the conduct of those teachers. Kicking, kick your legs. Kick out. What hurts the most? Kicking. Just are we ever going to be able to trust anyone again? It took us so long since we've had Riley till we were first given her diagnosis to five years old. We never let her out of our sight, not even given her to family members. It took us so long to build that up and it's just, it's just gone. And Riley's parents are meeting with the school tomorrow to discuss the best way forward with her education. We will continue to follow this story closely.